In this video, we'll be covering how to create shipments such as direct shipments or straight shipments. Consolidations or back-to-back -back shipments will be covered in our next video called Quick Consolidations. Let's suppose we're going to create an air direct shipment or straight shipment. I'll select the drop-down menu next to the air button across the top. Here I can select Straight Shipment Wizard Export. By selecting the Straight Shipment Wizard Export, the wizard will launch to assist us in creating the straight shipment. Simply follow the on-screen instructions to create the shipment. As you can see here it says, enter the general information for the shipment such as the carrier and the airway bill number. Next, we'll follow the fields in order to complete the information to proceed to the next screen. The shipment name 72 is provided by the system. Later on, we'll demonstrate how to configure your own shipment names. The carrier we can select from the drop-down list or we can add a new one here by selecting the plus sign. Let's suppose we're going to use Land Chile for this shipment. The airway bill number can be set automatically from the inventory we predefined. The booking number we can enter here, the booking number provided by the airline. Executed place by default is your city of origin, or you can change it here if you like. Executed by is the employee that's created the actual shipment. Executed date is today's date, or you can change it by using the drop down list here. You can enter in here the declared value for carriage and the declared value for customs. The description of goods will leave blank for this particular shipment since we're going to pull the commodities from the warehouse receipts. Next, we'll click on the Next button to proceed using the wizard. Here it says select the entities involved in the shipment. Since I'm going to pull a warehouse receipt into the shipment, I don't need to enter this information right now. It will be pulled automatically from the warehouse receipt. Next, describe the routing for the shipment. Motor transportation is air. Flight number will say it's 785, leaving from Miami on 224 to San Jose, arriving on 224, and we'll say it's arriving three hours later. Next, select the documents for the shipment. Documents included in the shipment will be filled automatically by the system with the cargo information. Let's suppose I need an airway bill and a delivery order. Next, select the cargo to ship. You can select cargo either from warehouse receipts or pickup orders. By clicking on the white boxes, you can make complete or partial selections. As you can see here, shipments can be created from warehouse receipts, pickup orders, or from your inventory. If we look at the warehouse list, we have all the warehouse receipts on hand in our warehouse. We can expand the warehouse entry to see the commodities within it, or we can double click on the commodity to view the information, or double click on the actual warehouse receipt to view detailed information. We can also, also filter this information to view warehouse receipts for one particular shipper or consignee or any other criteria we'd like. I'll select the filters button here and I'll filter for the shipper Andrew Supply. As you can see, my selection has been narrowed. Let's suppose that from warehouse receipt 1222, the TVs that we previously entered, I still have three on hand. I'm going to ship two pieces. Next, would you like to repack the cargo? Repacking is used if you'd like to repack this cargo either onto a skid, a pallet for etc., a D container, or ocean containers for ocean shipments. Let's assume we're going to leave the cargo in the state it originally came into our warehouse receipt, so we'll skip the repack step. From here, we've almost reached our final step to complete our shipment. Select the folder. Shipments must be placed inside folders, which can be created in the same way you work in real life. Let's suppose I'm going to use the structure that we previously demonstrated. Outgoing shipments, 2004, air, 
and then I'll select February. Next, here we get a brief summary of all the information we just entered. By clicking the Finish button, the system will generate the shipment with all the information we entered. Now I'll select the Finish button and you'll see how the Magaya cargo system generates the direct shipment for me completely. As you can see, the system has generated shipment 72 in the outgoing shipments folder 2004 air February as we selected. If we needed to print the airway bill immediately, we could simply select the airway bill icon here. And as you can see, my airway bill is completely filled out with all the previously defined information, such as fuel surcharge, airway bill documentation. The commodity section was pulled from the warehouse receipt. And as you can see, the shipper and consignee was also pulled from the warehouse receipt. If I wanted to add a clause to this airway bill, I can simply double click here in the body and add the pertinent clause. Let's look at the delivery order and you can see how the system has completed the delivery order for us as well. Here we have the shipment properties. This looks very similar to our wizard. As you can see, the description of goods was pulled from the warehouse receipt. The entities, the shipper and consignee was also pulled from the warehouse receipt. The routing was entered during the wizard. And the charges are automatically generated by the system with the rates that we previously defined. Here, for example, we have air freight. This is our income account. It's applied to Best Buy, it's prepaid, and it applies a rate that we previously defined. The system has chosen volume pound as the chargeable weight since it's greater than the gross weight. Therefore, the chargeable weight is automatically selected and the rate is applied. Here we have our air freight cost with the rate that we previously defined. As you can see, the system has selected the minimum charge for the air freight cost applied to Land Chile. We also have here airway bill documentation fee that we have predefined in the system, fuel surcharge cost, and fuel surcharge income. As you can see, those charges appear in the airway bill. Let's take another look at our shipment properties and review some other information. At the very bottom you can see we have total expenses, total income, and total profit. Immediately we know if we've entered something incorrectly if we have a negative profit. On the right hand side we have our packing list. Here we have warehouse receipt 1222 with the TVs and down here is the detailed description of that cargo as far as pieces, weight, and volume. If we wanted to repack that cargo, we could also do that here. We can simply select the Repack button, and here we get a wizard that helps us repack called the Repacking Wizard. In Container Type, we'll select the type of container. Let's suppose we're going to repack that on a pallet. I'm going to enter our dimensions for our pallet. And I'm going to say that the, the pallet weighs 5 pounds, and I want the system to add the weight of the contained pieces. Select the items I want to place on the pallet. As you can see, the system has repacked the cargo into a pallet. If I look at my airway bill now, the airway bill has been updated with correct information. 
As you can see, repacking can be done easily and efficiently using the repacking wizard. If we wanted to add another document to the shipment, we can simply select Add Document and select the document from our list. Let's assume we wanted to add a packing list to the shipment. As you can see, the document is added to our shipment and is completely filled out for us with the appropriate information. Let's return to our shipment properties and look at the other icons. The Houses button is used for consolidations and we'll address that later in our next video, How to Create Quick Consolidations. The Profit button gives us a brief summary of our total expenses, income, and net profit for that particular shipment. In the window above, we have the detailed description of each charge. We'll discuss the liquidation button momentarily. The liquidation button is used to create all of the accounts receivables and accounts payables based on the shipment information. The send button is used to transmit that shipment to your agent overseas if your agent is using the Magaya Cargo system. By clicking the send button, we would get a list of all the agents that we communicate with. We would simply select the agent and click send. That would transmit the entire shipment, excluding your accounting information, to your agent overseas. The U.S. Customs icon is used to transmit AES or AMS information to United States Customs. We'll discuss those later in detail. The Actions button, if we select the Actions button, we can see the different actions we can perform for the shipment. For example, Reports. Here we have different reports we can use that are already predefined, such as cargo by consignee, cargo by shipper, or house listing for consolidations.